Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new, welcome. If you're not, welcome back. Thank you for 21,000 subscribers. You guys are the best. Keep liking, commenting, sharing everything that you guys do. Never goes unnoticed. Um, hope you guys are doing right and may you stay blessed. Find us on Facebook and Instagram as Fanny and Jesse. Say hi, we'll say hi back. Our vlogging channel, Fanny and Jesse 2.0. Subscribe and enjoy the content that we put out. And we might be doing, we might be posting videos this coming December. We're not yet in December, no. No. So just subscribe to our vlogging channel and see what we're up to. So today I'm going to be reacting to OnlyFans. OnlyFans Saudi girl gets humiliated so without wasting time let's get into the video i'm the first um saudi bikini model so oh, oh, sure. Come on. Yeah, very proud. you know what oh, don't disrespect her okay fine all right uh, women, sorry women uh, too, too much about uh, this girl's leaving she's emotional um miss uh, haram oh, <laughs> so no. get her out all right I've come together with the one on my charity, which is a 100% donation policy and do amazing work around the world. This winter, brothers and sisters help to feed those who are in poor conditions and who don't even have a clothing to keep themselves warm. Your small donation might mean nothing to you, but it can change their life and help them survive the winter this year. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh, brothers and sisters and dear friends. As you guys might know, I have a lot of discussion with feminists, the opposite gender, and they always talk about freedom and liberation and the sexual liberation, and they can do whatever they like with their body. And this has also gone all the way to our sisters in the Muslim countries and it's affected and indoctrinated them so much that they think freedom is going and doing whatever you like, thinking they are free, thinking they're making a choice. Now, this video that we're going to watch is heartbreaking and at the same time, a eye-opener for us. Let's get straight into it. Hi, my name is Malad. What is it? Malad. Malad? Yes. Okay. <laughs> what? Malad, how old are you? I'm 29. Okay, 29. Where are you from? <laughs> I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> so where are you from? I'm from Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia? Yes. Oh shit, you're not covering your hair? Haram! Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, you grew up there or did you grow up here? Yes, born and raised. Born and raised in Saudi Arabia? Yes. Okay, when did you come to Miami? Okay, so far, it just seems, I don't know if you guys can see this, but she seems like she's out of place. She seems like it's as if, I, I can, as if, I don't know, you guys tell me, as if she doesn't belong there. Like even from her demeanor, the way she is, she doesn't look comfortable. She looks like she's out of place. It's, it's as if she wants to fit in, but she's not. Uh, one year ago, but I was in the States three years ago. Okay, all right then. Uh, single, married? Single. Single, okay. Um, and then... Happily single. Happily single. <laughs> Very horrible. <laughs> okay. Happily single. What does, what does that mean, happily single? Let's be honest. Nobody likes to be single. Nobody wants to spend the rest of their life alone. So this is one of the biggest delusions. Do you know why women fall into this? Because they meet men who use and abuse them, get one thing out of them, they hate all men, and they rebel and I'm happily single. No, you're not. You went about things the wrong way, and this not just doesn't go with that with every single woman. And now you're hurt, and you don't trust any man, any man, you've just become broken into pieces. And then, <laughs> <laughs> right, and then uh, uh, what was I gonna say? High education level completed? I'm doing my master's right now. Okay, what are you, what are you, uh, what are you majoring in there? Um, hospitality, um, specializing in makeup events. Okay, and then let's see here. Do you have a, do you work right now, or is still a full time student? I used to work at the Red Cross in South Beach, but I quit, and now I'm doing OnlyFans. Hello. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm, I'm the first um, Saudi bikini model. So. Oh sure. Hello. Yeah, very well. You know what? Very well, but I empower women. So. Yeah. Woo! Woohoo! Yes, the only Saudi bikini model. You go, girl. Boss, babe, you go get you some. And there's all these girls around them who are dressed up disgustingly because that's the only thing they have to offer. And they are there like, whoa, the first Saudi bikini girl. Whoa, what, what is a bikini? Let's, let's analyze, what's a bikini? Bikini is underwear. It's just given another name. It's like, for example, a strip club. They call it gentleman's club. Giving it another name doesn't take away from the fact of how disgusting it is. So you walking around, or anybody, by the way, anyone can walk how they want. Bikini is exactly the same thing as a woman wearing underwear. There is no such, there's no difference. It's just called a bikini. Oh, I'm in a bikini. No, you are in a underwear. You're walking around in your underwear. And not only that, what did you do? Only fans. Woo, go get you some girl. Do whatever you like on there, you know. Let men just use you, abuse you like a piece of meat. Which studies show that when men see women in bikini, the part of the brain that lights up for two use, meaning you're like a screwdriver to them. You're like something that's an inanimate object. You're not even a human being in their eyes. But it's okay, sister. You left that for the freedom of the West. Woo. Let's carry on. I'm around, but I empower women, so. <laughs> Oh, shit. Okay. Fantastic. Wait, one more time. Go ahead. Your name again? Milad. Milad. I go with Princess Cookie because my family does not agree on whatever I'm doing with my real name. So. No, are they mad at you? Very haram. Yes, very haram. I can only imagine. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do you think it's empowering? OnlyFans? Is it empowering for you, Miss Saudi Arabia? 
It's very empowering. Okay. Uh, why is yes. it empowering? I'm Haram. very proud of myself. Haram. 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 Wallahi, brothers and sisters, when you turn your back on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and you truly try to please the creation, Wallahi, the creation will never be happy with you. Allah will never be happy with you. The angels will be never happy with you. And this is what we're seeing. Look how uncomfortable she is. Haram, yeah, I'm proud, I'm proud of myself. Uh, I'm empowering. What is empowering about you dressing up in an appropriate way, in modest way? And there are men masturbating over you around the world envisioning you in God knows what and masturbating over you. Your family wants the best for you. Your family cares about you, that they don't want you to fall for this pit of disgusting scum lifestyle. And you are here doing that. Look at how these guys ended up treating her. Watch this guys. Wallahi is a lesson to be learned. Watch this. Okay, uh... Exactly, exactly. Because I'm just breaking all these cycles from forbidden stuff and I, girls shouldn't do this and girls shouldn't do that. Mm -hmm. And I think Every girl has the freedom to do whatever she wants, and I don't think any guy has the right Haram! to judge. Okay, all right. <laughs> not Yo. funny. So, um, let me ask you this, and I'll go around the table. Do you think it's empowering to show your body? To her, by the way, there's haram and halal for men and women. Not one. Islam doesn't say a woman cannot have sex before marriage, but a man can. No, they both have the capital punishment. The both of them have a punishment in this life and in the hereafter, unless they repent. So, this notion as if just women can't do something, where in Islam does it say that a man, my son, if I had a son, he can go and mess around with girls? No, he will get backhand. He will get a backhand, best believe that. Not, oh, you're my son. You No, 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 no. Both of them, I would not allow my daughter or son to go down that route. Why? Because I care about them. You think it is empowering that going on these platforms, yes, and the only thing that you can offer is your body parts, and you think that's empowering, you're empowering other girls to come. Do you really think you're free? Look what she said. She goes, that I, I, I believe every woman should be free. No man should tell her what to do. Really? So let me get this right. So... Men, for example, you think that women who cover themselves up cover it for, for men? No, they do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear sister, if you're listening to this, yeah? However, men actually want you to be naked because that's what, that's what they want to see. Do you think a man wants to see a woman covered up? No, he doesn't. He wants to see her as naked as possible so he can just look at her and drool over her and do God knows what, masturbate and God knows what other stuff, imagination in his brain. Yes, literally rape you with his mind, with his eyes. Yes? So you think that is freedom? Do you really think that you are freely doing this? No, you're not. You are affected by the Western world. They have given you dawah to their lifestyle, yes, to tell you that this is okay. Do what you like. You go, girl. Do you really think you have a choice? No, you don't. Everything has an impact on you. The movies that you watch, to the billboards that you see, to your uh, colleagues and the, the, uh, the society that you live in, the society, the peer pressure, the beauty industry. Read the book called Beauty Sick. I recommend every sister read that. Read it and see the lengths women are going down to to look to have this ident ideal body. And some of them would even go down the route of giving sex away just so the men don't leave them. And you think this is empowering? So, um, let me ask you this and I'll go around the table. Do you think it's empowering to show your body off to strangers whacking off to you? And I'm mean, just being honest. Do you think it is? Realistic? Because that's honestly what's going on. That's why the people are watching you. That is what is actually going on behind the screen. They're whacking off to you being naked. That is walking. Is that empowering? If mm -hmm. there are women who have been disrespected their entire life and told that their sexuality is something that they should be ashamed of, but they find the freedom to project all of that to the world and they're able to release that to the world and, 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 and disarm themselves of the shame of their natural sexuality and Preach. their bodies and be completely proud of just who they are. Amen. Absolutely. Oh, trust me, they're gonna release all right. Yeah, release some okay. nuts. When has sexuality become something that they should be frowned upon? Where in Islam does it say that you as a woman are frowned upon? No, it doesn't. Islam is there to protect you, to protect you as a woman to savages who are after you to break you down, give you no rights and take what they want and go. Islam says no. Islam is there to protect you by telling you that women, men should not sexually objectify you. And women talk about, ah, oh, I don't want to be sexually objectified. But all of these girls there are sitting with their breasts out open, mini skirts. All they talk about is this and that, how many guys they stay with, etc. You sexualize your own self and you don't want to be sexually objectified. Islam says, cover yourself. And he also tells the men to lower your gaze. Islam doesn't say if a girl's dressed up in bikini, you can look at her. No, we are told that we need to lower our gaze regardless of what she's wearing. That teaches men how to view women. And then on top of that, the woman has to do a part by covering up also. And if I want to get married to a woman, I go and speak to her father. I have to give a dowry, which is her right. I have to give her a wedding. I have to marry her, not use and abuse her. With these girls on the, around that table, they probably have 30, 40 bodies. Yes, the people that I slept with. Empowering, woo, that men are using you like toilets. How? When I want to relieve myself, I go to the toilet. These men, because they are horny and their sexual urges are whatever, they are releasing themselves in you. Excuse me. 
excuse me, if kids are watching this, they are doing exactly that. You are nothing but a toilet to them. That when they have the urge, let me go to this toilet and release myself. Oh, I'm good now. Now get lost, because that's the only thing you have to offer me, because I'm not even going to marry you. Woo! Empowering though. We're empowered. Yes, let's go, boss baby. Uh, so you're yeah, saying and that. That's fine. And that's fine. At the end of the day, yes, I do believe that it can be extremely empowering. And it just depends on who you are and where you're coming from and what you've been through and what you've had to go through to get to the point where you say, you know what, this is me and I accept it and I love it and I'm comfortable with it. And I'm proud. So Timmy goes to school. Yes. Sees the OnlyFans page. That yes. might be yours. Okay. Right? He's 15 years old. Okay. Gets home from school. Yes. Takes his pants off. Okay. Walks off. Uh huh. How's that empowering to you? How I find it very interesting how women don't want consequences for poor decisions. If you sexualize yourself as a woman, nine out of 10 times, every man you deal with is going to sexualize you as well in reciprocation. A man cannot objectify you unless you objectify yourself first. Correct. That's the reality. So Correct. you're saying society, you know, does these things and constricts women's sexuality, whatever. What if it's to protect them? And the reason why it's to protect them is to keep men from giving them the evil eye and objectifying them and looking at them at nothing more mm -hmm. than a sexual object. What if it's to promote modesty? What if it's to keep that woman's value high to a degree where people don't disrespect her? Okay, fine. All right, women, uh, sorry. Uh, sorry, sorry about, uh, this girl's leaving. She's emotional. Um, Miss uh, Haram. Oh, <laughs> so get her out. <laughs> All right, just make it quick then. We don't got to make it a whole, uh, you know, okay. thing. Just let her get her stuff and y'all can escort her out. Haram! And take her Instagram off the thing too. Yeah. Shorty's crying. Probably. Know, yeah. And here's the thing. That's sexual like, power for you. Yeah. When, when you can't speak about what you do openly and you, you feel a certain way, it, it goes back to the biology, man. Women know deep down that, yo, it, this is not acceptable for me to be... <sighs> I'm gonna wrap up on this guys, what can I say? What can I say? Wallahi, people who are turning their back on their Lord, Allah, Islam, the most beautiful thing that has ever been gifted to me. Brothers and sisters, you're turning your back and you want honor from these people. Wallahi, they humiliated her. Wallahi, Adim, they humiliated her. She came there thinking she's gonna be empowered like, oh, you go girl. Wallahi, my dear sister, if you're watching this, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you through that to turn back to him. Wallahi, 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 if that is not a sign, that these people will never be happy with you. Nobody's ever going to be happy with you. The men are going to use you like you're a piece of tissue that they wipe their nose and throw you away. Islam has honored you, my dear sister. Every woman that's watching this, wallahi, Islam has come to preserve and honor you, to increase your status in this life and in the hereafter. This society, that girl who's talking there, empowerment, yeah, 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 all this kind of nonsense, yeah? Who's probably been slept, used by multiple men, multiple men. Chucked away, broken, and she's there telling, oh, this is my empowerment. It's empowerment, you choose to. Why on earth would you come on a show with your breasts hanging out? Why? Why do you have to make your breasts hang out? I'm uncurious. Why? Why mini skirts? Why? Why can you ha not have more to offer? You sexually objectify yourself, and then you say, but why do men sexually objectify me? What do you want to do? If you're dressed up in a certain way, of course certain men are going to treat you in a, a, a certain way. We wish that didn't happen. I wish that never happened. But that's the reality of the world we live in. And that's why God Almighty has told men and women how to conduct themselves with their eyes to the tongue to the way they dress. And you are talking about empowerment and you think you choose to dress up like this? That no societal pressures have an impact on you? Of course they do. The fact that all of those girls, most of them there, who are dressed inappropriately shows you one thing. You are all following a specific trend. And you're there, I choose to. No, you don't. No, you don't. Why don't you come to the show fully covered? Why not? Because the societal norms are what? Mini skirt, breasts hanging out, you know, lips are this big, like a balloon, and you're telling me you're free. Wallahi, if that is freedom, la ilaha illallah. Wallahi, wallahi, it's the biggest enslavement. And I, inshallah, my dear sister, may Allah, if you're watching this, wallahi, turn to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's not late. Turn back to your family. Leave this filthy lifestyle. Wallahi, leave this lifestyle. Maybe you learned your lesson. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put you through that. Wallahi, just learn your lesson, inshallah, and turn back to your Lord. And what else can I say? Wallahi, it's sad, so sad to see females, not just Muslim, non-Muslim, that they are going down this route. Wallahi, if they understood and a glimpse of what Islam has to offer them. Wallahi, they will leave it in a, that, like this, they'll leave that lifestyle, how Islam honors them. Hope you guys benefited from this, brothers and sisters. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala keep us firm and protect our daughters, our sisters, our mothers. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. I think this is my favorite video from um, always get Ali Dawa, if I'm not mistaken. Um, it's sad that when we think of freedom, we as females are rushing to say um, it all comes down to sexuality. Since when does freedom have to do with sexuality? I'm just confused right now listening to what these girls were saying. I think um, sometimes our parents do their best to raise us in a certain way but we throw that out to try and fit in 
and like Ali noticed in the video, the girl from Saudi Arabia was uh, kind of fidgeting. You know, why was she fi fidgeting? Was she uncomfortable? What was going on? Um, freedom, freedom means a lot of things, you know. We don't have to throw away our respect for a certain type of freedom. The way you carry yourself is the way someone out there is going to treat you. I don't think if it was a well-respected woman in her hijab or any non-Muslim that just respects herself went onto this podcast would have been um, treated the way these girls were treated. You know, I don't even think the men were treating these girls right. I mean with respect that goes to show something i don't even think they were trying to be funny they'll treat you the way you treat yourself you know they're feeding off your energy um again i don't understand why sexuality has to do with freedom already allowed the freedom to go to school back then it wasn't a thing you already have that freedom you have the freedom to choose to work not to work that's freedom you know, and I've seen many Muslims that I may follow on my Instagram that um, dress very, very well. They're not um, exposing their chest or anything, always covered up and dress very well. Some of them have the best fashion sense, you know. When it comes to clothing, you really can't blame her and the mindset that she has. But if she was born and raised in Saudi Arabia, but then what's going on? What's... I, I'm still trying to understand what she was trying to say. Otherwise, I think... Actually, this is even a good topic to actually discuss on a podcast. You know, with ladies that respect themselves. You know, just to get a view. In fact, mixed. Everyone that feels like freedom is exposing themselves. People that think freedom is this and that, you know, it would be a good thing to get their intake. Otherwise, um, I always say we women should learn to love ourselves. There is more to us than we want to sometimes believe, you know. Just because you're all covered up, no one is looking at you like the girl next to you that's getting every man's attention doesn't mean... Um, doesn't mean you're not appreciated first appreciate yourself others are going to appreciate you respect yourself others are going to respect you you know treat yourself good don't uh, fall victim to having a body count of 50 30 and saying because it's my freedom i don't think life works like that you're just taking away something away from yourself that you never get back otherwise remember ladies let's learn to love ourselves like i said for i really love his commentary on the podcast i really really love it let's cherish ourselves let me know what you guys think down below make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course do not forget to subscribe and i'll see you in my next reaction video